This is the DJI Mavic 3e, DJI's newest enterprise solution made to expedite your commercial work and facilitate your overall workflow. Combined with great portability, battery life of up to 45 minutes, high efficiency and a dual camera setup, this drone can be applied in a variety of enterprise application scenarios such as mapping, surveying, inspections, public safety and more. DJI has just come out with not one but two enterprise drones, the Mavic 3e and the Mavic 3t. The T is the one equipped with three cameras, one of which is thermal. Head over to 51 Drones' channel if you want to see a full overview of this drone as well. It's quite interesting. But now let's get back to the Mavic 3e and what you get in the box. The drone comes in a really nice hard shell briefcase with the Mavic 3e branding on it. Let's move the drone out of the way for now and we'll get back to it in just a second. But here we have the RTK module for the Mavic 3e offering a centimeter level accuracy, especially useful for mapping where you need very precise control points then we have the RC Pro Enterprise which is not the same as the regular RC Pro as it has a built-in microphone which you can use together with a speaker attachment for the drone for public safety scenarios like search and rescue for example. Then you have a 100 watt power adapter for charging via the charging hub or you can directly charge the drone with 88 watt fast charging. It takes roughly 1 hour and 10 minutes to fully charge a battery by using the charging hub or if you plug the drone directly into the socket, it will take about 1 hour and 20 minutes. Finally, you have some cables, power cords, booklets and spare props and that's pretty much it. Taking a look at the drone, there's a new design for that gimbal cover which I really like. It fully covers the front sensors and the gimbal itself and overall I think it's much easier to attach or remove. On top of the drone we have an LED light and a USB-C port for attaching accessories like the RTK module or the speaker as well as some third-party accessories. But what's most important on this drone is the camera setup. The Mavic 3e is equipped with a 20 megapixel wide-angle camera with a 4 thirds CMOS sensor and a half an inch 12 megapixel telecamera as well as a mechanical shutter which support 0.7 seconds interval shooting, reducing motion blur or jello to significantly improve the sharpness of your photos, making all mapping operations much quicker and efficient. Combining these two cameras, the drone is able to produce a 56 times hybrid zoom from 1x to 7x using the wide camera and from 7x to 56x using the telecamera. And let me tell you, the results are quite amazing. You can easily scope a massive area kilometers away from you and still get a great detail in your shot, making surveying and inspection jobs a breeze. For example, let's take this bridge behind me, which is currently in a no-fly zone. So the 56 times zoom should be quite handy to have in this particular situation. So let's check it out, see what we can do. All right, so here we are at about 54 meters and we have the bridge right here. We are right on the edge of the no-fly zone so we can take advantage of that hybrid zoom. And let's inspect the construction of the bridge. Believe it or not, we have Quite a big issue with the bridge in our city and uh, some people believe it definitely needs some reconstruction and some reinforcement of those uh, base uh, columns that actually hold the bridge so it is interesting to be able to check it out let's just go full zoom 56 times it's it's amazing how much detail you actually have in the frame where you can really see what's going on and if i wasn't in the no-fly zone i would have been able to get a little bit closer but if let's say we want to inspect the power lines yes we've reached the maximum um, altitude that we can achieve but here we can even inspect the power lines and you know the power grid of the city in this area so this is really really cool and uh, the fact that you are so far away and have such good visibility over things that are so far away it's just mind-blowing to me let's see if we can see something on the stadium if there's someone we can see someone running practicing on the stadium how cool is that way to go my man it has been raining all day and this guy is training his ass off on the stadium just after it stopped raining. So good job on that. But yeah, really impressive. And the amount of detail that you can get inside the shot is just 
something that I definitely like so, so much. Like I mentioned before, working with this drone is very easy as it supports a wide variety of software like the DJI Pilot 2 app, DJI Terra, MSDK, DTAT 3.0 and more. Inside DJI Pilot 2, you have a couple of options to create a route. And in this example, I'll show you how easy it is to create a 3D model of an area. So if you want to create a mission before you actually get to your destination, you can just power on the remote controller, connect it to Wi-Fi and start working on your mission. So you have all the time necessary to fine tune your mission before you go to that place. So the first thing you want to do is to click on flight route and then you can create a route. Then you need to decide what type of route you want to create waypoint, mapping, oblique or linear. For this example, since we're looking to create a 3D model, we can use mapping, but it will be better to use oblique since it's going to take some more photos from a different angle and that will greatly facilitate the process of creating that 3D model. Next, you need to zoom in to the location where you want to actually create that map. And then you just need to tap to create a mapping area. It's created automatically and you can of course easily adjust those uh, points. So let's say we want something like this. Then we need to open up those settings so we can select the camera that we will be using. So for this example, we will select DJI Mavic 3e and then select the wide um, angle camera. And then we have some different options that we can configure depending on our needs. So gimbal pitch, I'm going to leave at minus 45. This will make sure that our uh, area will be captured from a 45 degree angle in addition to those 90 degree shots that we'll be getting uh, as usual. We have some information about the GSD and the oblique GSD. You can see 2.69 centimeter per pixel and 3.8 centimeters per pixel for the oblique. Uh, we can decide our flight route altitude. I, I'm going to leave it at 100 because I think this is the good middle ground for what we are going for. And then target surface to takeoff point. Again, we are going to leave it as zero. I found out that these settings actually work really well. If you leave them at the default settings, um, you won't be disappointed. And then we can go to advanced settings if you want to create a bigger overlap ratio or a smaller overlap ratio. But there will be a pop up if in case you set it to a number that is too low, you will get an error message that the overlap ratio is too small and you won't get good results. So um, a good rule of thumb is to leave it to more than 70% just to make sure. Um, so most of these you can tweak if you prefer. I'm going to keep them as they are. And then of course at the bottom we have photo mode which is set to timed interval shot which means that the drone will take photos automatically uh, at a very specific time. It will be roughly about every second or so. So when you're done, you have the GPS coordinates of your uh, point that you have selected. You can um, take a look at the flight path that the drone will be uh, covering. You have a six waypoint mission, which will take 42 photos. And that's just the first flight. Then we have the second flight, which will take some photos uh, at a different angle, the one that you, we have specified in the settings. Then we have the third flight, the fourth flight, and then the fifth flight. And we will be ready in roughly five minutes, I would say, because each flight will take about one minute. Yeah, just make sure you have enough battery and then you can save that mission and go to that location. And when you're ready to take off, you just need to open up your missions like so. Flight route, you open that mission and you can play it. Once you play it, you will have the choice to execute all of these flight routes or just a couple of them. It's up to you. And you will have the pre-flight check, which will be running in case your drone is uh, running as well. And of course, right now we cannot do it since the drone is not powered on, but you will be good to go. Uh, you can just press on upload flight mission and then the drone will start flying automatically performing all of these different flights, snapping photos, and then you just end up with some photos that you can use to create your 3D model. Then all you need to do is to upload all of your photos to DJI Terra or any other software that supports 3D modeling. And then it will show you on the map all of these points, all of these photos that you have taken. For my case, they are 165. Um, and then you can upload these images. As you can see, they are 1.9 gigabytes 
when you press upload you will start uploading them then will, it will take a couple of hours to process this map and then you will have a final result showing you a 3d image of the area that you have selected so here we have the map that i have created uh, it's currently set to map view if you click to model view you will see the 3d rendered image of this area and here it is it's easy to see that we have quite a lot of detail of course this was just a quick demonstration if you really want to have as much detail as possible you can create a more in-depth uh, mission that will just take a little bit more time take a lot more photos just to make sure you have enough detail from every possible angle that you like but it's great that we can still zoom in and just go around the area and we have a lot of detail that I personally am quite happy to see uh, because I wasn't expecting that much detail from the drone from a very basic quick flight that took less than 10 minutes to create and then when you're ready to export you can just click on this export button right here and export this project as a PDF map all sorts of different maps you can use it as a point cloud or a 3d model whatever you feel like you can do it from here uh, and then you'll have the final results available for you. The price of the Mavic 3 E is $32.99 US dollars. And as for the Mavic 3 T with the thermal camera, it's $49.99 US dollars. Personally, I'm happy to see one of my favorite drone designs being implemented on a new model for enterprise solutions, such as the Mavic 3 E and the Mavic 3 T. And with the dual camera setup here and the triple camera setup on the Mavic 3 T, I think it's a big step forward for people who are looking to get a more portable but also very very powerful solution for their needs uh, in terms of commercial work and with the mechanical shutter on the camera I think it's a big step forward for those missions which require a huge amount of photos being taken uh, with this drone you can do that very very quickly and efficiently so that saves you not only time but that also saves you money in the grand scheme of things i think this is a great product and i want to specially thank dji for letting me check out this drone before the official announcement i had it for a couple of weeks so i can really test it out and see what it can do with this i'm entering a whole new world of commercial work with things that i've never done before and it's really eye-opening to what is really possible with these drones so yeah very very exciting to to check out a new direction of drone flying with that being said guys this is everything i have for you in today's video thank you so much for watching this is mike from drone supremacy take care and i'll see you in the next one very very soon ciao